community and our country, Nigeria as a whole. And um, let, let's just start off with how do you feel about everything going on in Nigeria, the lockdown? These, this past month, how has that been? What do you think about that? Well, basically, it's a sad situation. Um, I feel we are a country not totally ready for it. Uh, we're not totally prepared for this pandemic. Um, I feel very sad for the populace. Um, it has come to a country where you have over... 85% or 90% of your people living uh, hand to mouth, uh, meaning they have to go out to work every day to feed themselves and their family. Yeah. So, uh, and um, we've not been able to merge that as a country totally uh, to, with regard to provision for its people. So, it's very, very uh, disheartening and you know, what can we do as, as people? What can we do? We can do but little just to um, help out, you know? So it, it, it's also, it's just very disheartening at this point in time. And I all, always pray that, look, this shouldn't escalate beyond this because we are not ready. We're not ready for this. We cannot, let us not deceive ourselves. We can't match this if we have uh, 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 um, uh, the, the kind of numbers that you know uh, uh, countries like the U.S. have, we we're not ready for it. People will, people will die. But on, looking on, on the bright side, um, I'd say that we have. Um, I want to believe. I just want to believe that we have maybe peradventure because of our lifestyle or what we eat or our weather. Um, what we discussed about, you know, like people um, taking preventive measures with regards to fruits and some of the lime and all of these things. Um, we have been able to, you know, curb it just a little bit, you know, curb this pandemic a little bit. But in all, within this period that I, I, I would say the whole world is guessing, about how to solve this thing because I feel they don't have a solution yet. Everybody's just, you know, they're just guessing. You know, um, right now, it, 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 I just pray it shouldn't escalate beyond this because people really need to, you know, feed. You know, people need to survive. Let me not say feed, survive is the word. That, that's my own, that, 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 that's my own stand on this right now. Yes, yes, I do very much understand where you're coming from. And I agree with you um, very much at the same time. And um, I, I have been thinking about the, because um, tomorrow the fish dam is officially lifted. And, you know, then they set a curfew and, you know, so many things, which is, um, is going to be carried out from tomorrow. People can go out, you have to be back at a certain time and the rest. I think that you know, they, they put so many restrictions, like 60% of people in public transportation, you know, uh, people should wash their hands, constantly sanitize. Do you think that this is the best step for the Nigerian government to take right now? You know, lifting the lockdown, people going back out, because, you know, we don't really, we can't really say that Nigerians are really going to adhere to these things, you know? So do you think that is the best thing for the Nigerian government to do right now? I'd say they're just applying common sense. They're applying common sense because they know they cannot provide totally for their people to tell them, oh, let's keep you at home one more month. They know it's impossible. Let's not deceive ourselves. They know it's impossible. And that is why they have said, okay, um, we're going to let you out, but you have to do this. You have to uh, 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 have half of the of, of the passenger seats uh, filled, uh, you know, occupy the buses and some of those regulations they are keeping, uh, social distancing and all of that. But in all, uh, uh, um, it's just a, 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 that... Yes, we lost you.
this. Um, but in all, I, I still feel they've not. They're, they're, some they're trying, but my throwback to them question is: How much have you decimated information up down to the roots of, of your people? How much? If you go to the rural areas, trust me, a lot of people still believe this, this, this thing is not totally real. Some people believe it's not for us. How, I mean, how much have you, you know, I don't want to, I'm not, I'm not trying to spend, yeah, 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 yeah. How much effort have you spent in letting your people know how to take care of themselves? Case study. Look at what's going on in Kano right now. I mean, we're seeing people who, whenever believing in coronavirus, they will wash their hands and curse and drink uh, the water and curse out coronavirus and say nonsense about coronavirus that it doesn't exist. Look at the numbers today. Look at what happened in Ghana when they felt, oh, the coronavirus has been is now at the lowest ebb, and they released their people. The same day they had they released their people, they had about two hundred and something cases in Ghana. That's what they are going through today. So, um, they, the government still has a lot to do, you know, in, in, in that direction. They haven't done quite enough. They're trying, but they've not done quite enough, you know, uh, uh, to decimate information or use certain vehicles of information. And we have tried, as some of us, not all of us, though, but a whole lot of uh, people in the know that you might call celebrities have tried in their own little ways to decimate information and let people know. But um, some of your influencers, uh, celebrities, um, even politicians, even ordinary, other people who have not, they've not been used properly to decimate this information all the way down. Because the mistake we make is we always feel the world revolves around us. Some people feel that, you know, uh, 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 we, we always forget that people who control the elitists in Nigeria, those people like you and I who are educated and that uh, we, we use social media and we have access to...